chainsaw mill comes in two sections like this and it, it's quite simple to use so just slot together like that just make sure the angle iron is pointed together and these are 19 inch bolts you should put the chainsaw in which I'll put together in a minute I've just got a tree on the ground here and I just want to take the one side off just to give you a bit of a demonstration how it works so we get the mill slide together as I said a piece of timber that goes on here can be any size because this is adjustable to the size timber you want so I've just tacked this piece of timber on put this on here slide it together do up the two wing nuts slides so we can cut it. I've overlapped the timber here so we can get the saw in initially before we start cutting. So I'll just get the saw in. I've undone the bolts, I've opened the clasp here. Just get the saw, keep it pointing away from you. And it won't always go dead straight because obviously we've got the handle to push on. It might go to a slight angle like that. So I'll just get this clamped up. Close up here, so I've, I've dropped the saw in. You've got the dog teeth resting on this bar here. If you haven't got dog teeth, you're just gonna have the body of the saw rest on here instead. I've clamped it on the bar so the teeth the chain can still run smoothly. As you can see the bar is at a slight angle. It depends what saw you've got and where your dog teeth are. Sometimes it's more vertical and sometimes it's further out. But this can fit any size saw. I'll get it started and we're cut through. That's my demonstration with the small saw and the small bar. This tree is quite a large tree so it hasn't gone all the way through. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll put a different bar on, I'll get a different chainsaw and show you me fitting a bigger chainsaw. And I'll cut right through and I'll show you what the side looks like. What I like about this mill is uh, it's solid. It, um, it keeps a, a nice straight run all the way through so we should end up with a nice side to it and it's adjustable and it's perfectly safe because you're working behind the saw and all the sawdust is going away from you. I'll just get this swapped over now with the larger saw so we can finish off this cut and see what it looks like. So now I've cut the side through. I took the mill off the saw because I want my side to come off about here. So I'll just cut this off and then we'll have a look at the side. <laughs> how the mill works. Um, got quite a nice straight edge there and then what I can do now I can move this piece of timber, move it over and cut whatever I want to cut out. It's all steel so it's not going to break or anything you can get it in a rough environment. If you want one of these mills what I'll do I'll put a, a link in the description below. <laughs>